Now I fancy myself a fancier of fancy knives. For example, I have me a Sabenza 28. Is it a 28? Then there's the uh, Hawk Mud Auto. Pew! And one of these expensive French knives. So that's like uh, 395 for the Hawk, 455 the Sabenza, $8. $858 worth of good purchasing decisions right there. Which is why I kicked myself right in the fancy ass when I missed out on the Sharp by Design Evo Typhoon last year. It turns out I didn't have the money at the time because I was buying other knives. You know how it goes. But Levon from Knife Nuts Podcast, and ultimately Brian, the Chinese designer over at, uh, I think it's called Sharp by Design, decided to send it my way. Levon mostly because I think uh, Brian hates dealing with anyone other than knives. I mean, I get it. Reviewers are shitheads. Anyway, let's look at the version made for people with micro-sized hands wanting something nice to fondle with their small digits. The Micro Evo. And to find out just how micro, well, let's take a look at those dimensions. Like the overall length and weight. I mean, it's it's not that small. I guess like a Spyderco Delica small. Blade size and cutting edge. I'm not, I'm not trying to shame people with smaller than average hands. There's nothing wrong with that. Handle size and grip area. It would be very nice of me to do that. I'm a, a nice knife bro. Spine thickness, handle thickness. I know those small-handed people have tender feelings and get emotional about things like that. Tallnesses. Doesn't make them any less of people than you, me, or small children. So the Micro Evo comes with a blade just under 3 inches and will be made from M390 steel, if everything goes okay. A very good steel that most people don't complain about, much like scenic and corruption-free Azerbaijan. And it will come in three different blade profiles, one being the piercing tanto scene here, obviously for very small, heavily armored opponents. Armadillos, maybe. Me, personally, I'm a drop point kind of bro, but I'm sure you have some real good reasons for liking tantos that... I'd rather not hear. You can tell your cat about him, though. He likes to listen. And apparently watch. The blade is deployed by a flipper tab. Neither sharp or edgy or jimped. Which is fine by me, because tabs don't need texture or gimmicks if done right. The detent is pretty strong, and with a little bit of force, it pops out. Press and pew. Press and pew. Repeat. And detent is strong enough to where it can't be flinged, flung, flanged, downward, and opened. It's not quite smooth enough to shake clothes, but it's not designed to be if Brian's response on Instagram is any indication when asked, how many wiggles does it take? Sorry I didn't get any footage of me wiggling the knife closed because that's not how you close a knife. It's three wiggles. The lock is a frame lock with a hardened steel insert that I don't have a problem disengaging. Then it engages something like this. The handle. Is it right to call the texture on the outside knurling? I didn't check in my glossary of knife textures. And you know what? I wouldn't be lying if I said I didn't like to get stuff wrong. Love answering questions in the comments or issuing corrections on the video description. It's one of my things. But let's call it knurling. It feels and looks similar to knurling on my zebra lights and it's real nice. It's not something you'd find on a lot of knives, but I guess maybe I haven't paid over 300 for enough knives. The handle is two slabs of titanium joined together at the pivot and near the butt. And you have a lanyard area there. It's like a little hidden lanyard area for a sculpture of some braided bullshit. If I were you, I'd put a $80 titanium bead there. Seems like a good decision. And the handle isn't as micro as the name suggests. There is some finger crowding. Not much. I, you know, have average size hands and I like a three and a half inch grip or a little more. And then up top you have a little jimping on the blade spine if you choke up on it. Yep. And so after thinking about it a bit, maybe, you know, like two minutes, I prefer this handled version of the Evo and the Typhoon the best of all. I'm not a fan of the hold version, ventrificated as they call it, or maybe it's portified. The carbon fiber is good, but I think the knurling variant is one of the nicest looking handles around. I'm serious though, the design of the Evo is one of the two to three new knives I really liked this year and last, but just couldn't afford. The titanium pocket clip is a deep carry, but the kind where a quarter of an inch still sticks out. So it's not deep carry then. It's simple and it grips tight to the pocket, and the list of changes made to this prototype for the production, it looks like they're going to remove the texture under the clip, 
making it a bit easier on the pockets, in theory, if you carry the knife. See, uh, here's a list of changes that will be different on the Riot made production. Don't, don't see a wiggle count there, though, so needs to get on that. The clip on the knife is blade backward, tip up in the right pocket only. Looks like there's a social media campaign by freaks who have a dominant left hand, spearheaded by Charlie the Lefty. So if you are one, and you want one, a left-handed Micro Evo, go sign up. Link is below, heretics. Comparisons. First, the Micro Evo. I own quite a few knives this size that I don't carry much, which is really no one's business but my own and none are quite as nice looking as the Micro. Some people prefer their fancy knives with a sub 3 inch blade and this be that. So when compared to my other car payment price not quite centered titanium handle Benchmade 765, well the Evo's nicer. I'm speaking specifically about the horribly sharp thin bolster area on the Benchmade 765. You know, maybe they thought good knives are supposed to hurt. The Benchmade does fire a bit harder and has a smoother action through the pivot although the Evo appears to be working on pivot tolerances for the production version. I think working on pivot tolerances will be my new go-to excuse as to why I've been in the garage for 45 minutes. Also, the clip on the Benchmade looks nice, but sucks functionally. Now the Para 3, probably one of my favorite small knives. It's smooth and has a quick deploying blade. Not quite that pop and detent on the micro, but it's very fidgetable, even if I don't carry it much. Now the full-size paramilitary too. You know, the knife I assume keeps Spyderco afloat between sprint runs. This is nearly a perfect pocket knife, and shown here mostly for size and a reference to the size of knife I like to carry. You know? And uh, let's look at another one. Why not have 10 damn knives in this? A classic we haven't seen in a while, the Little Lion Spy. Classic, of course, being subjective. I guess this video being the answer to the question, will knife bros pay $300 for a knife with nylon washers and a molasses feeling deployment? Not a quick deployer and not a knife I ever carry, but I like the way it looks, so there's that. The full size is a little large for my taste, the uh, full size Lion Spy, but it'd be nice if they updated with a better deployment and uh, an in-between size maybe. I mean, I wouldn't buy it, but people who get excited about uh, new QCI'd versions or red-handled sprint runs could. And last but not least, the Hunter, titanium and carbon fiber, and it's a front flipper, again, a little small for me and, you know, it's a front flipper. But a great design and well made, very comparable to the Evo in fit and finish and size and materials. Pretty different knives, but trying to make the same type of fools part with their money. And we can wrap it up now. Thanks to Levon and Brian for letting me take a look at the micro. They didn't even ask me not to baton with it, or not to smuggle it past security somewhere, if you know what I mean. These will be up for pre order, I believe it's on Black Friday. So make sure you visit the website after your yearly ritual of punching senior citizens in the mouth over a $50 LED TV at Best Buy. And follow Brian on Instagram and check his website out. I love it when he posts pictures of the Nemesis because it's one of the most beautiful knives I will never be able to afford, but I like looking at. The regular sized Evo sold out pretty fast, so make sure you get in on this one. Anyway, follow me on Instagram. Here are the patrons that help make the channel possible. A link is in the description if you'd like to as well. Buy t-shirts, stickers, like, subscribe, comment, click that bell. Thanks for watching.